How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm gonna tell you what you should do if your Apple Watch is stuck, frozen or unresponsive in any way. So you may tap on the screen and nothing happens, press on the buttons and nothing happens and please keep in mind that this video is universal so it will work if your Apple Watch is stuck on the watch face, on any app and even if you have a boot loop or your Apple Watch is stuck with the Apple logo. So regardless of your scenario and regardless of your Apple Watch model, I got you covered. Let's get started. Okay, so scenario number one, let's say your Apple Watch is stuck, frozen or unresponsive inside an app and it can be absolutely any app. I'm using the workout as an example. What you're gonna do is actually press and hold on your side button until you get to this screen, and then you're gonna press and hold on the digital crown. So press and hold, and then as you can see, it's gonna come back to your watch face, and what this will do is it'll simply quit the app, just like when you have your iPhone and then you swipe up, right? That's the exact same thing, and then it should fix the issue. And then as you can see, the app is gonna open from the beginning, and that's literally it. Now, if this doesn't work, sometimes it's completely frozen and this won't work, or if you are in a boot loop, if you have the Apple logo or anything, I'm gonna show you how you can actually force restart the whole Apple Watch. To do that, what you're simply gonna do is press and hold both buttons at the same time. So your side button and your digital crown at the same time. So press and hold both. As you can see, I'm pressing and holding, I'm keeping holding, I'm still holding, as you can see. Keep holding, keep holding. Don't let go just yet. Keep holding until you see the Apple logo. It will turn off the display, as you can see. And as you see the Apple logo, you can let go. And what we're doing here, as you can see, is simply force restart. So we are actually restarting the Apple Watch, turning it off and turning it back on. And of course, you won't lose any of our data, nothing like that. We're just rebooting the device. Now, all you have to do is wait for it to restart. And then after a few moments, your Apple Watch will get back to normal. Please keep in mind that it may take a while, like a minute or two. But even if that doesn't work, after forcing restarting, it still doesn't work, then you have one less option, which is to simply go ahead, grab your iPhone, and we will need our iPhone for that, and then go ahead here, open up the watch app, and then go to general, scroll all the way down, go to reset, and then erase Apple Watch content and settings. Yes, if nothing that I showed you works, you will have to reset your Apple Watch, erase it completely, and then pair it again to your iPhone, but this is not normal. In the vast majority of cases, one of those two processes that I showed you will simply work and your Apple Watch will get back to normal, all right? So that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos with you guys. Bye-bye.